Hi family, I'm Jordan Thorpe and this is Jordan's Journey YouTube channel, your number one resource to help you grow in life and in faith. If you're new, welcome. If you're already subscribed to the family, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today family, I wanted to talk to you in regards to you are high value. You are high value. You are someone of importance not only in the kingdom, but to the world, to society. You know, as you transition from the world into the kingdom and you're dwelling with God and he's revealing to you who you are and you're operating out of that, okay? You become high value because you recognize your worth. You awaken to your worth and you're no longer accepting things that are beneath you. Okay, and so this is important as you're entering into a new season where everything is about to change. Um, you're going to be in new circles, new spheres of influence, new friendships, just everything is, is elevating. Your quality of life is elevating. Okay, and so it's important that you understand who you are and that there are boundaries in place of how you allow people to enter into your life, okay? And so God gave me the example of Deborah in the Bible. And I'm gonna read a few scriptures here from Judges 4, 4 through 5. And it reads, Now Deborah, a prophet, the wife of of Lapidoth was leading Israel at the time. She held courts under the palm of Deborah between Ramah and Bethel in the hill country of Ephraim. And the Israelites went up to her to have their disputes decided. So Deborah was a prophet, a wife, and a leader of Israel at the time. So she had purpose. She knew who she was and she was operating out of that purpose, okay? And it also says, and the Israelites went up to her to have the disputes decided. And this really st stuck out to me as I was reading this scripture because the Israelites had to go up to her. She did not come down to them. So we're at a place in our life family where we're no longer coming down. And, and settling for things that are beneath us. But in order for people to enter into your space, in order for people to be connected to you, they have to be able to come up to where you are. They have to be able to come up to where you are because you are elevated. God has elevated you. He has given you purpose. You are operating out of that. And you have to be able to see yourself how God sees you. You have to be able to have self-esteem, confidence in the abilities that he has given you. And this was a process that he's been working on you with. And now that process is, is coming to an end. I mean, there's always things that we can work on to build our confidence or self-esteem. But for the most part, you know who you are and you're operating out of, the abilities, your God-given abilities, okay? And so how does God view you? How does God view, view, view us? Well, it tells us in 1 Peter 2, 9, but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Okay, so you are chosen. He chose you. A royal priesthood. You're holy. So you are royalty. You, you are a part of a royal bloodline. Okay, you are God's princess. You are God's prince. You are royalty. And so in order to receive God's best, you have to view yourself as the best, as the top tier. And so you're no longer putting yourself on the sales rack. Stop dumbing yourself down. Stop putting yourself up for sale. You're no longer for sale. God says, come off the sales rack. You're back on full price. 
okay? Because he says, I already paid the price. I already paid full price for you to live the best life that I have created for you. But you have to be able to view yourself as he sees you. You have to be able to have the confidence and the self-esteem to set boundaries and no longer accept things that are beneath and less than what than God's best for you. That are beneath and less than what God has already shown you. So people have to come up and meet you to work at the level that you are. And if not, they're, they're not for you. That opportunity is not for you. That relationship is not for you. That friendship is not for you. Okay, God is saying you are high value. You are someone of importance. And so your life is going to start to reflect that in every area, okay? So if you need additional resources to help you grow in life and faith, make sure you check the description box below. God loves you so much and so do I.